Guys, before we actually start this video, if you don't know, I actually got partnered with Epic Games and they're hooking your brother up. Guys, Create a Supporter is now a thing. If you go down to the item shop and you go to the bottom right, support a creator, click on that, type in your boy's name, exotic motion underscore YT, and then you guys are going to be able to hit accept. Over here at the top right, it says creator supported exotic motion underscore YT. Take a picture of this or this right here and tweet me it. I will go ahead and retweet it and I'm picking a winner to give you guys free V-Bucks. All you gotta do is tweet me that's all you got to do it it shows support to your boy and i would appreciate that more than anything Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to bunny hop. Now, if you guys don't know what bunny hop is, this is what it looks like. So basically, you probably see Tifu or other pros do something like this. As you saw right there, I'm, I'm jumping extremely quick across the map. Look at how fast I'm flying across the map. Now, you can bunny hop using anything that gives you momentum. Basically, like the impulse nades, as you can see, momentum. I'm flying a little bit faster than walking. Momentum. The faster you are with momentum, the higher higher or farther you're gonna go with your bunny hops. Now again, playground is probably the best way to practice this as you guys can see. Look at all these impulse nades that I could just throw at the ground, look up, and just practice my bunny hops to get across the map a little bit quicker. Now again, not just impulse nades do it, grappler guns do it as well. As you can see, I'm going a little bit quicker. Impulse nades are a little bit better just because the momentum's a little bit faster, but it works with the grapple gun as well. Now the best way to practice this, you guys, is in playground and just doing something like this. Go ahead and build yourself a nice flat platform that's about too, too wide, too wide, and then go down, uh, I wanna say like right here. Yay, yeah, uh, maybe a little bit farther actually. Just a little bit farther. Let's go about right there. So we're going to put a bouncer here. And then we're also going to put a bouncer on the opposite side. So I guess over here as well. And you can literally practice your bunny hops back and forth using this. Do it with a friend. Do it by yourself. It's really up to you. But look at how effective this is. It's literally just practicing, learning how to do it on your own. You can space it out even farther if you want. For instance, if I want to go farther than this, I can go ahead and space it out a little bit further. And put it right here as well but we're gonna have to destroy this and then that way we could practice more hops rather than just doing two quick hops but again it's all about learning it's all about muscle memory once you learn how to do it you'll be able to do it perfectly fine so i like doing it on something close like this you just get two hops you learn how to do the two hops and you just muscle memorize it but you can go as far as this as well so it's not like you're stuck on only going two hops far you can literally go as far as you want as long as you know how to time yourself perfectly. And this is the best way to just practice, just because for instance, if it's just constant practice doing it. Like I said, in playground mode, you learn everything in playground mode because in a normal game, if I'm sitting here doing this, somebody's gonna shoot at me from anywhere and I'm gonna end up dying. So this is probably the best way to do it. Now, how do you do it? Let me show you real quick. So basically what you wanna do is when you have that momentum, you wanna jump right before you hit the ground, kind of like this. Kind of like this when you lose your stamina and something like that. That's how you want to do it. So right before I hit the ground, I'm going to jump. Right before I hit it, I jumped. And you're going to do it constantly. Like jump, jump, jump. Right before you hit the ground. And it just allows you to actually get more momentum. And it's called a bunny hop. Now, this isn't the first game where you're able to do this. I think in CSGO you're able to do it as well. But there's different ways to do it. And there's different reasons why you want to do it. First, let me show you guys how to do it. The easiest way on PC is to switch your jump from spacebar. Keep it on spacebar, but over here at the right column, m make it mouse wheel down. Now, the reason you want to do that is because if you guys have a mouse and you notice every time you go slowly, just a small click in your mouse wheel, it's a jump. So if you just spam it, you can feel it, you can feel it like rumble like five or six times. So that means you're literally spamming the spacebar six times extremely fast so it's making it a little bit easier let me show you guys how hard it is with just the space bar okay so i'm gonna show you guys real attempts how many tries it takes using a space bar you can do it i didn't do it right there you can do it it's just it's harder like nope see that was too late There we go, there's one right there. So it, it just takes a little bit more time, practice. Um, you just gotta learn how to do it with the space bar. I first learned it on the space bar, and then I was like, the mouse wheel down is a lot easier to do. I can do it every time with the mouse wheel down. As you can see, if I do do it with the space bar, it's only one time, I can't do it the second jump. And the best way to learn how to time it is to literally think about it. If, if you're jumping, and say I do it, and I jump, 
that means I did it too late. I, I jumped too late from hitting the ground. If I do it and then I don't jump, that means I did it too early. So you got to meet right in between and do it right as you're hitting the ground. So that way you can actually get the full momentum of it. Now that's how you do it. Now what 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 is it good for? I guess say rushing a team. Say there's a team up on this hill or something like that and I want to get up there quicker. I can go ahead and use a grappler gun to get up there like this. Use an impulse nade and I can literally just cruise across the map just doing this now i know they don't have impulse nades but they do have shock waves which shock waves work just as well now doing it on hills is a little bit more difficult so after you learn it on a flat ground like that come over to a hill and just practice it try to learn it on a hill because for instance like that hill right there i had to go a little bit quicker just because i was going up a hill now if you're going down a hill you're gonna have to go a little bit slower it's just a little bit harder to time and stuff like that but once you practice for at least 30 minutes to an hour i promise you guys you'll learn how to do it extremely quick now one of the best techniques on using this is say for instance I launch pad over and my launch pad is going to be too short and I'm not going to make it to like say the gas station I don't want to run all this distance all I have to do is just bunny hop Oh, I messed up. But say I want to go to the gas station and my launch pad's not far enough and I, I don't want to run all the way over there because there's people fighting or I need a heal or something like that or the storm's coming. I can literally just bunny hop my way all the way to the gas station and I can get there quick. Look at how quick I got there. Now again, I messed up some of my jumps, but I'm here already. That was extremely quick and I did get a short landing or fall which does suck. So another thing that is good for is, let me show you guys real quick. Say early game you're, you're just now landing on the map. You don't have any weapons. Just ignore I have weapons. Ignore I have mats. And I want to get over to the city extremely quick, but I did a short landing. Like, that happens to all of us. Sometimes we'll drop, and we'll drop too short, and we're like, oh, crap, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to have to run a little bit. By the time you run there, other people are going to loot that house, have all the weapons, and you're going to die. So the best thing to do, say, for instance, I want to go to basement house, and I'm, I'm going to land short. As you guys can see, I'm going to have to run a few distance. I can just bunny hop my way over there and get there a little bit quicker than normal. All right, take two because I messed up on the first one. As you guys can see, I'm landing short, and I want to get to the basement house. You just bunny hop your way over there. And look at how quick that was. I'm literally here in a second. I don't have to spend that time running. And I can loot this house as quick as I can, as quick as I want, just because I had that bunny hop. Now, this is the first city. So, again, you don't have mats. You don't have these grapple guns to get across the map quicker. Um, so, there's no other way to do it. But, again, anything with momentum is the best thing to do. Now, let me show you guys the fastest way to get across the map and the best way to get across the map. Using the bunny hop method mixed in with the new Season 6, uh... These little shadow stones that they have, I don't know what these are exactly called, but if you consume one and then you use one of these little uh, bouncer, I don't know what they're called, I, don't, I guess bouncers that they have all around the map, you can cruise all the way, like I can get to Pleasant Park in literally like five seconds, like I'm all the way in Greasy Grove, I need to get to Pleasant Park, I'm just going to hop my way over there because I have momentum and you just jump, every time you hit the floor you jump and look at how far I'm going to go guys. I messed up right there. Every time you mess up, it does slow you down a little bit, but I'm still cruising. Even with one mess up, I'm still cruising pretty far. And I could probably make it all the way to Greasy Grove without being seen because I'm invisible slightly. And also, oh man, that hill screwed me up. But guys, you get the you get the you get the point, man. We can literally go all the way across the map. I can travel anywhere from like this range. Like I can make it from Greasy to Pleasant Park in five seconds. I can make it from here, Shifty to Salty Springs. I can make it from here to Flush Factory. It just depends on the hills and stuff like that. But it is extremely easy and it's extremely useful in the game, you guys. So I suggest you guys learn it if you do want to become a top tier player and you want to just have the advantage on your friends. I suggest do it. Ha have fun with your friends. Hang out in a lobby. Just talk with your friends and practice it, you guys. Like that. Say, for instance, I want to race somebody to the supply drop. I just beat them to the supply drop because I had the bunny hops. And they're over there sitting there running all the way across the map. But, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for all the love, all the support. If you please can, give this video a thumbs up for the double upload for the day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.